degradation of power generation capacity of solar power generation plants. Here in Gifu University, research is being conducted to suppress the degradation of power generation capacity from solar power. Today, Associate Professor Ohashi explains his involvement in the research development of a suppression technique. In the last decade, as global warming advances, the focus on solar power as a renewable alternative energy source to replace fossil fuel and the installation of many solar power plants in the world have seen a dramatic rise. However, as solar generation plants develop into larger scale system, the degradation phenomenon which causes drastic reduction of the power conversion efficiency becomes a significant issue not only in Japan but also around the world. This degradation phenomenon is technically known as potential induced degradation or PID. In order to understand PID, it is important to first of all understand how power is generated by solar panels. Solar panels commonly installed on the roof of ordinary household are called PV modules. The collected sunlight or solar energy is converted into electricity within the solar cells in the PV modules. PV modules are assembled by inserting the PV cells, also known as solar cells, between a glass plate and backside foil in order to protect them from damage due to natural phenomena such as wind and rain. However, the power generation performance induced in these PV modules is suppressed as a result of various degradation phenomena. Among them is the previously mentioned PID, which is a degradation phenomenon caused by high voltage. The PID effect tends to occur in large-scale solar power plants called megasolar. In Europe, where the use of the renewable energy system is ahead than the rest of the world, PID has been considered as a critical problem because of the extensive use of megasolar plants there. It has been already revealed that PID easily occurs with silicon-based PV modules which are subjected to wet conditions like the surface of wet glass plate resulting from regular exposure to external factors such as humidity or rain. In that regard, Particular attention is necessary, especially in coastal and tropical regions. In addition, the effect of PID is stronger at high temperatures due to sodium migrations from the glass plate to inside the solar cells. Therefore, as the influence of global warming becomes more serious, the occurrence of PID will likely intensify in Japan because of increasing humidity and temperature. Because PID is induced by the sodium migrations into solar cells, my research focuses on the suppression of PID by slowing down sodium migrations. Let me explain how this works. Liquid glass can be applied as a coating, and after a certain period of time, it hardens to form a highly durable glass layer. In addition, unlike ordinary glass, which does not contain metal ions, the glass layer prepared with liquid glass might reduce the effect of electrical charges on the cells, which can in effect serve as an obstacle for the sodium migrations towards the solar cells when placed between the glass plate and solar cells in PV modules. These figures show the photovoltaic characteristic of PV modules before and after PID test. The PV modules were prepared with and without the internal glass layer. In the case of PV modules without glass layer, the generated power voltage was drastically reduced after a 6-hour PID test. In contrast, the generated power voltage of PV modules prepared with glass layer showed almost no characteristic changes even after a 6-hour PID test. Since this technique uses liquid glass, 
It can be applied to conventional PV modules without significantly modifying the PV structure. Extending the life of the PV power generation system and directly leading to a reduction in power generation costs. So far, the PID tests have been conducted with a small sized PV module in the laboratory. The next stage would be to apply the technique to commercial sized PV modules and to investigate the suppression effects of PID. We are now conducting research in collaboration with Tokyo Metropolitan Government Bureau of Water Works. We hope that this technique will further enhance the installations of solar power plants, accelerate the spread of solar power generations, and help support power infrastructure worldwide.